This United Nations troops, based in South Sudan's largest state, Jongle, have just received their orders for the day. Their routine and scheduled morning patrol by vehicle is unable to take off for fear that their cars will get stuck in the mud and will also slow them down while on patrol. The only alternative, therefore, is to go on foot. With weapons in hand, flag jackets on their back and waterproof boots in place, up to 40 troops begin their difficult task for the day, a six-hour foot patrol. Rain or shine, these peacekeepers move on foot for hours to make sure that the populations in the area are protected. We will try to find out the uh, population of civil, mainly the civil population areas, so that we can inter interact with them and find out the problem, what they are facing in the field. So that's why we are doing our job like this. But yeah, it takes, it takes a time to fulfill, to achieve our goal. But what we are doing today is a step to achieve that goal. A deteriorating security situation, intercommunal conflict, and difficult terrain in the area of coverage has now been compounded by heavy rains which have left a lot of roads impassable and the train a lot more challenging. This has resulted to troops finding it quite difficult to get around, whether on foot or by vehicle. South Sudan's rainy season, which starts around March, April, stretches up to seven months, sometimes eight, and with it, living in its wake, inaccessible roads. Is everything okay in their village? Are they feeling okay? This year's rains have persisted. But for the troops, this means more exhausting patrols. Despite all the daunting challenges that we have had uh, regarding the austere operating environment like camping in a swamp, having to walk like 10 miles across the river to get to the next village, if it's all worth it for me and for the rest of the troops. When we get to that, those villages, just like you saw a minute ago, we see that old lady, that young guy, wave, smile, and say to us, thank you. It makes it out, it warms my heart to see that. Then we know that the, our, 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 our work is not really in vain. So that makes me happy. These patrols are part of continuing efforts by the United Nations mission in South Sudan, UNMIS, hoped at strengthening the implementation of its protection of civilians mandate, expected to improve and secure environments countrywide in conflict areas like the vast Jungle state. Through their presence in these insecure areas, which have seen intercommunal conflict, they help deter conflict, at the same time monitor the situation on the ground. For, For the peacekeepers, the task may be exhausting, but they are satisfied when they receive some positive responses from vulnerable civilians they come into contact with. Uh, peacekeeping have remained in noble um, service in, in the army um, military, and we take special satisfaction when we see the positive impact of what we're doing in terms of uh, protection and uh, safe, conducive environment for the pop uh, vulnerable population. For these peacekeepers, their routes could be getting longer and longer and more difficult. But their service for the protection of vulnerable population continues to intensify, even in areas which have been deserted due to civil unrest or flooded by intense rain.